Hello everybody, welcome back to another video from Breezy Organization. Today I am going to be showing you how you can get a free planner. So this is going to be a really quick video, but basically you are going to go to breezyorganization.com and this is our current website where we explain about digital planning, how to digital plan, um, all the things. Our different planners are available here. If you hit shop, we have digital planners, special planners, stickers, um, customizable planners, PDF planners. We have a page of tutorials that you can look at that'll show you how to do all kinds of things. And then of course we have a lot more tutorials here on our YouTube channel. And then we have a frequently asked questions. If you are having problems doing a few of the basic things with digital planning, we have questions and answers here. And then we have our freebies page. So right now you will have to um, put in an email address and password to be able to access this page. But once you access this page, anything that's added to it later um, or anything that's on it right now is available for download. So if you hit any of these, it will take you to the download. You'll just hit download and then it'll be in your downloads folder in your files app on your iPad. So I'm going to show you how you can quickly label your tabs on um, one of these downloadable free planners. So we are going to download the, let's do the notes planner that's colorful. That is the portrait one. So we're gonna click on this. So when you click on it, it's gonna open up the planner. You're gonna hit this little box with the arrow out and we're gonna scroll down to either save it in your files or open in GoodNotes. I'm gonna open in GoodNotes. We're gonna hit open and then import as a new document. Okay. So this is what the file looks like, and this is a blank notes planner um, for you to use that is lined, and then every page that you're on, it highlights that tab so you know which tab you're on. Whoops, there we go. Um, so you'll know which tab you're on. So this one has eight different tabs for you to use. So let's go back to the beginning. If you want to label something, you're going to go up here to your text tool. I want it to be finances. You'll just write that in and then we're going to hit this lasso tool and we're going to lasso it and we're going to hit click it whoops sorry lasso tap in the middle and click resize and then take this little blue icon it'll help you to change it and to make it whatever size that you want it to be so and it kind of snaps into place so you won't be crooked it kind of just snaps there for you so that's really nice so we have labeled this finances if you want to change the color of it just highlight this here and then hit color and then hit white and it'll change it to white. And then what you're going to want to do is copy and paste. So we're going to paste it here and then we're going to copy both of these and paste it here. Okay. And then we have four left. So we're going to lasso them all one more time, hit copy and paste. And then we have all of our tabs named. Now, obviously you're not gonna have all of these named finance. So if you click back on the text, you can click on this and you can easily rename these to cleaning. And then you just have to, if it's a too long of a word, you'll just pull on these blue little dots here to make it longer and then go to the next one. Say you're gonna do devotion and then hit the blue dot. And then if they get, um, a little bit too long you can just resize it there hit right back on text and then we're going to name this one um uh exercise okay and then we're going to make sure we're on the lasso tool and we're going to bring it down and you'll continue to do the same thing for all of your tabs that you want to name here and then if this is the tedious part this is the part that i don't like but if you want the ability to name your tabs what you want them to be named this is pretty much the only way to do it um, so you're going to copy these and then you're going to go to the next page and you're going to hit paste and you're just going to line them up and you're going to scroll over and you're going to hit paste. So naming them all at one time is definitely, um, a huge time saver than trying to, oh, I'm going to name this one this. And then the next day have to copy and paste them all because you decided to name the second tab some, you know, you didn't name all your tabs at once. So like you're going to have to repeat the process. So as soon as you can figure out what you want all of your tabs to be named, it'll definitely make the process a whole lot easier and quicker. So you're just going to go through on all of your tabs and do this. And we're almost to the end. We have like two tabs left, but you basically get the picture. Okay. So then whenever we go back and we hit on finances, that's lit up and we can, um, write, you know, to show that we're on this page, we'll write a money sign. And then to show um, 
I don't know, I'm not very good at drawing, so I just do exercise. So then we're just gonna write exercise on this page so you guys can see that we're on different pages. And so then back to finance, and then this one goes to cleaning, and so on. So that is a super easy way for you to name all of your tabs. This is a free planner. Again, you go to breezyorganization.com to snag that up and a few of our stickers so you can try out digital planning to see if it is right for you. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And be sure to leave a comment below if you have a question about digital planning. I would absolutely love to answer it and we will catch you on the next one. Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification because we do upload weekly videos and we'll see you on the next one.